good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I don't usually do this, man, but we gotta, gotta unpack. We gotta unpack what's going on while I got the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I watched this um, podcast platform, whatever you want to call it, um, that y'all probably familiar with. Sorry about the vibration in the car if, if that's bothering y'all, but um, it's called Little Jumper. Uh, Little Jumper. Um, ran by Adam 22 white dude which is doesn't, doesn't mean nothing neither here or there but the premise of his uh his, his, his network or his, his channel as he goes on pretty much interviews rappers and personalities more of the the uh, how do I say it correctly like politically politically correct the urban culture you know rap hip hop um like this dude is he's into BMX skating and all kind of other stuff and rap being being part of um, being into hip hop is part of his um part of his life. He's he's about around my same age and like his what he what he talks about is like his, uh, Gucci Man and uh, uh, OJ the Juice Man. Those are like his his favorite rappers and things like that. Kind of just sparked him into it. I don't know if he had anything before, but anyway. He has a network. He was kind of like running on his own, and it was um he was getting he was getting cats that um that, were, that end up being really big later down the road. He was getting um a few few in betweens and a few 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 decent ones, but it, it's, his channel is booming now because I, I feel I feel he um he did a good business model. He hired people that have like more connection into different outlets and and things like that, like AD, like T Rail. Um, if you know these people, uh, um, uh, just how Lush, who he put me on to because, you know, underground kind of rap dude with a, with a background story about addiction and things like that. Um, uh, uh, it's a, you know, few, few people, um, he, but this is what I'm getting into. So he has different shows and different slots and time slots and different different things so if you're under the no um jump jumper umbrella you got your own pod under his umbrella so that's what like ad doing that's what t-rail doing um so one of the newer ones newest i ain't say newer he's been around for a little while but he's he's one of the newer ones ad t-rail they've been around a little while longer it's flaco flaco is one of the newer ones another one is um uh uh female gina she been she been doing um She's been doing her thing with her channel for a while now, and I get stuff around LA too, and then you know background in the music scene. So she 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 comes with her credentials. Um, you have Almighty Suspect, uh, rapper from LA. I don't know what because he he done, he, he had so many beefs and hung out with so many different people. I don't know where he exactly uh, from exactly, but I'll just say LA. But he had so many alliances and then broken up and. Been, uh, but he always, he always said he kind of from you know the LA area, so I guess he just tap into whoever he tap in with, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, regardless, so you got that, you got that, boom, boom, boom. So it's been a culmination today that's going on, like with this. Oh, I'm just making sure I'm still recording. My bad. Um, with this, with this whole thing. So what I what I'm really coming to talk about is. Flacco, Gina, All My Suspect have a show on Monday called The Monday Show. Now, the the the, the thing the, the the stigma about The Monday Show is Monday shows haven't done too well on that channel. So, when they kind of hired on Gina, and I, they were like, we're going to put you on The Monday Show. Um, and they tried a couple of different people. I don't think Almighty Suspect, Flacco, and Gina was the original. But I remember they threw on Almighty, if he wasn't there originally, and they throw on Flacco. Um, maybe they tried some different combinations. So they, they they did that. I think no, you know what? I'll take that back. I know they started with Gina and Flacco. That was the original. And then Almighty came in afterward after he did an interview and um, you know, uh he, he I guess he had gone to it with uh Nate Dogg's uh, son and he went viral, so of course they had him on, you know, controversy and and they said, oh, we had them back on on a different time. And then they say, hey, you want to come? 
come through work with us. So we started working with them on Monday. It actually was good because it started functioning. Um, the back and forth kind of, uh, to me, Gina was like the moderator. Was actually uh, doing good. And all of a sudden, not today or yesterday, whichever, this week, Vlaco comes on and, and they kind of corner him because Vlaco apparently went to the, the owners like Josh um, Adam 22 was like hey he pitched all these ideas all the ideas had to do without um, Almighty Suspect had to do with Gina had to do with his own show this and that and other but he only told he only told Gina about the show not Gina, I'm sorry, he told Almighty Suspect about, hey, we're gonna have our own show. He didn't tell Gina, and it's been so much that came out like that I, I just had to digest and figure it out, but. Oh, let's just go, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. Almighty Suspect, it, it's so much to unpack. If you, if you know or you don't know, there's a, there's a, there's a personality out there called so Kelby the P. He went on um, under white, under soft white underbelly. If you're familiar with that, he can He claimed to be a 19 year old white pimp or whatnot, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? And and, um, and he came on there. Everybody was just on his bumper. He went viral for. I think he knew what he was doing because I suppose he was a SoundCloud rapper. He was doing either trying to get his stuff up. He'll tell. You, he says that too. So him and another dude named Sharp. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Sharp and him was going to do an interview. Sharp allegedly, real, real P. Um, bought the interview. I'm saying, hey, you know, like, basically get on, get on his helmet. That's what he did immediately. But he invited um, uh, Almighty to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as as kind of like a co-host, and they just pretty much got on dude bumper. They they let him talk. They let him do anything too much, pretty much. And it, it, it was a wrap after that. So so, boom. That goes down. Um, y'all, y'all watch that went viral, all that kind of stuff. Um, he comes back for a second time. This time, Adam says I'm gonna interview him. This is kind of common, but um, now we so you said bring, bring him back. He bring back Almighty. Almighty was a good spirits in the interview and everything, and it was going all right. And they just went left, left, like boom, like with, with this with this Kelpie dude, and then he just. Kelby just came out of his mouth and called called Almighty female dog, and then that was it. That was it. He said he said what 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 you say? Wait, what you say? He, he, he didn't catch it. What you say? He said he said you heard me and boom said it again. I think he said it a third time, and he just he just said bam, you know like like got at him. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know which is a tough situation because. You in a, you in a situation where you in a good position, should be kind of professional. There's a lot, a lot of ways you can handle that, but you know, I mean, you know, I'm like, like I'm, I'm putting the shoe on the other foot or whatever. But I, I could have said, hey, hey, um, I could have went to Adam and said, hey, bro, if this dude said that one time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire him. You got to get fire him. You got to get him out of here or get me out of here. One, one or the other. Stop the interview or whatever. Request it. Say, cause you know it's on. Song cameras live, whatever, or, or even if it's not live. So he did, he did that. Fired on him, boom, boom. boom. That's that went viral, went all over the place, boom. So now, now you got, you got a, uh, you got him. It's apparently he got suspended. Almighty got suspended for two weeks. Cool, you know I don't know what that entails. Two weeks without pay or whatever. Got that? He got suspended. Boom, comes back to the Monday show, which is gonna be highly anticipated show, which they did, they did numbers live. Highly anticipated show, figure out what, what went on, and in the middle of it, all this happened in like in like a two-day span where Flacco has been pitching to Adam 22 the whole time, like the Monday. In, in essence, the Monday show is trash. It's not what he expected, which I, which Flacco, you know, I, I like Flacco, but bro, you, are you, are you like a, a vice president? What, what are you like high in the, the chain where you call shots? But he said, I don't, I don't think it's good. Boom, boom, boom. 
let's do our own show. But he 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 talking about he he went and grabbed um Gina, let Gina come with me or whatever. If not, you know, make sure she gets somewhere. So, but he didn't say nothing to Almighty. But he calls Almighty, tells him, "Hey man, it's gonna be some changes." coming down the pipe trying to say, say that's giving them the heads up like like that that there's gonna be some changes coming down the pipe so he does that um almighty keeps it on the ride because he's like okay cool he didn't know what it was until he talked to gina and we talked to gina she has no idea about anything and it's, it's crazy because she gets a lot of flack because she's a female I, I think she's um cool she does cool content even on her channel um she does she does cool content she she had a good a good thing going when she didn't think it was gonna be working and then she kind of just got backstabbed like 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 by Flacco you know and he's and bro and y'all watch this interview um, or interview uh, podcast it's, it's probably floating around just look it up if you if your fans are not man he's all he he is just backpedaling the whole time don't want to look them in the eye they are they are they know what's going down and they confront him on the show where he couldn't couldn't get out and he's trying to he's solidified that 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 there's gonna be a new show and this and he's he's trying to mask it where he says this is I've been I didn't this division this not the vision I've seen with the show. I wanted to be like a kind of debate show about underground hip hop with um like a skip Bayless type Stephen A. Smith type shit or excuse the language of, or or uh, or uh or or Steve um Skip Bayless, Shan Sharp, whatever. He used that like analogy. That he said wasn't working for him, but it, the timing is crazy because now the timing is it's been in one or two weeks in the making. That's around the same time Almighty Suspect got into his little incident with um with Kel B to P or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So I think I think I believe what everybody's outside saying that he don't really feel safe around him because this dude this dude Flacco is not a street dude. Um he's from North Dakota. Uh, or, or, or origins, um, origins is from Africa and stuff. You know, he not he not with the, he will be the first one to tell you not with the street stuff. But he's more like into the news and the hip, kind of like Ron Gim, for real, like DJ Academics uh, a little bit, and just with the the drop something to make him pop and make him stand out. And I don't I don't I don't for one second not believe that he kind of sabotaged the show because now he's going on different platforms like like AD stuff community. Where he's saying, he's saying, yo, the, sh the show, the show was trash. We wasn't doing numbers. I don't, or even if we wasn't doing numbers, I, I don't think it's not the, that's not, that's not the issue because I don't think they would have pulled it already. He's not saying that. He said he's, he's, he's saying the content's not trash. He goes on his channel and tells his fans it's some changes to come, and it's like he's running the show and stuff. So, and now he's backpedaling with everybody that comes, comes around to me. And you know, at the end of the day. I went all over the place in the story. If you know it, you, you kind of know it. So hopefully, you tap in if you know it. If you don't, you know, go, 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 go. Do your, um, you know, hit the YouTube if, if you're interested. But at the end of the day, man, he, um, this is sec Flacco to me. Second strike. I like dude. This is second strike. Like he had an incident where he was on a um, low jumper interview with a, with a street dude from Chicago. I forget his name. Sixteen something. Got him or whatever. But, but from Chicago. Man, try to like the not you know that was a journalist be unbiased. He tried to defend defend what somebody he likes is doing, and it just went up 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 till the dude couldn't take it no more, and then he ended up spinning on him, and then and then I think he swung on him, but I think AD was there, so I think I know AD was there. He was able to break it up, but that was like a close call close call to him so he like I'm, I'm i'm really thinking like i'm believing the hype where it says he really like nervous about man almighty a live wire he from the streets man we cool but he he, he he might he might swing on me one day we doing these debates and we doing this and that he might do this he might do that he's just nervous about it so um that's that's all he should say if, if that's if that's the case instead of trying to change show unless he's using that as a pivot to get his own stuff what he wants to do so um it just i don't know um at the end of the day the end of the day what i want to say kids ladies and gentlemen you know what i'm saying if you have an issue with somebody uh especially on a professional level you nervous you're scared not even i don't i don't even know what to say like nervous scared whatever you want to say 
um, uh, uh, you want you want a higher position. You want you want you, you think you could do more. You, you have visions and you wanna you wanna do it, especially in a, that that line of work. Regardless, I think in life, you don't need to backstab people to get what you want. No matter of fact, if you work hard, your work, if, if it works out, should show that you're able to sit in a position you're 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 granted. And you you won't have haters. You won't have haters to come that, oh, oh, you know, so and so um is, is getting favoritism or you they 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 the person you can't touch them and da 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 da. But at the end of the day, if you know in your heart, you work for it, you good. You good. Work for what you want to get. Don't take any shortcuts. Don't do any um, you know, like shortcuts, what I'm saying, shortcuts. Um work smarter, not harder, but but when I say shortcuts in this incident and, and, and it could be in other incidents, people backstabbing people, drop somebody down that you hey, quote unquote care for and think is cool people so you can look better. You know what I'm saying? I hate that. I hate that. And I'm sure y'all hate it. But we all have to look at ourselves and see if we're doing that to somebody, you know, when in, in a certain situation, not just a situation. Um, it's just, it's just wild to think about, like, you know, people do that type of stuff, but it happens. You know what I'm saying? Who well, no, knows? You know, you might be doing it. I might be doing it. But I, I, I definitely don't. If I, if I'm doing it, I don't go out to do that at all. At all, I think my genuine uh, work or whatever should should just show. And if you want to push me up to a certain position, that's that's what I've been working for, and that's what I that's what I deserve, and I got it. Okay, cool. If I didn't get it, oh man, you know what I'm saying. Get back to the drawing board. Let me see what else I can do. You know what I'm saying. How can I switch it up? Never in my mind I say, oh, let me um take this person out. That's 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 on the left of me or whatever, the right of me. Let me take this person out. Guess what? You're going to need that person one day. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be next month. It might not be next year. But you're going to eventually need that person. And they ain't going to be there for you because you put that knife in their back. You know what I'm saying? So um, just, I think it just applies to, like, a lot of people probably don't watch this type of stuff. But I just think it applies to a lot of different different things. Oh, I'm back, y'all. Let me phone call. My bad phone call, y'all. I think it just applies to a lot of different scenarios. And um, if I know if you don't watch No Jumper, and then you was like, "What is he talking about?" But man, uh, it just it just broke down so much today. But I just like, man, look, man, y'all just take care of each other, man. Um, you don't need to trip somebody so you can win the race. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just need to work at it. You know what I mean? And sometimes that person that's 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 um in the race on you you know what I'm saying they can help you they can work out with you they can do this they can do that and one day you you might beat them that's all it is man you know what I'm saying work together to get up don't backstab somebody because you think you're going that's, that's all man you know um ah, man I don't know if y'all y'all watch that that, that 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 podcast but if y'all do man tap in let me know what y'all think about the whole situation because I think it's crazy I try to break it down as best as I can but you know Probably, probably didn't, and then people that have no idea about it is like, what is he talking about? But anyway, until I talk to y'all um, next time, man, y'all stay up, be good, treat each other well. Talk to y'all later, man. All right.